Welcome back to Experience. In the Experience, we talk about God, Allah, <laughs> Zeus, <laughs> the Olympians, all the gods. Self improvement, self help, mental health, everything. So, in today, of the experience, obviously. Oh, yeah, of course, and especially the experience. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. I already made a video about this. I feel like this needs to go a little bit deeper. Or I feel like I need to go a little bit deeper than I did last time. And I have no notes for this. I have no setup for this video. It's just straight off my dome. This is a rant. And this is why I quit playing video games. Obviously, it's a little bit contradictory because I'm showing you video games on the screen. But it, again, these are clips that I recorded when I was a hardcore 12 a.m. Doritos eating gamer. And speaking of that, I'm running out of clips. So <laughs> if anyone wants to play video games for me, give me clips. Hey, video games are a lie. They're a lie. <laughs> because I was that same guy who would defend video games. I would say, no, 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 this guy's wrong. I only play video games for an hour. You know, I I, I, I separate it towards the end of my day. I play, I do my work and I play video games for the rest of the day. I would defend it with my life. I stopped defending video games once I realized life is a competition. That's when I stopped real. That, that's when I stopped defending it. You gotta understand, your future wife is out there. The, your future girlfriend is out there. We're all competing for that future girlfriend. That future woman that's perfect in every way. We're all competing for that. You think it's just you on that level? There's every step of the game, whether you're 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 below average, whether you're average, whether you're above average, or whether you're the top 1%, there is competition at every level. It just gets easier and easier as you go up. The game is still competitive and it's gonna get more competitive. I started to realize that life is a competition when I started getting rejected. You know, there was a period of time where you know, I was doing good. You know, I was playing video games. I was eating healthy, but I was still you know, a little bit working out. I was doing a little bit of cardio. You know, I wasn't big, but I was, you know, on the verge of losing weight. And I was sky high, man. And then I started playing video games more. Back then it was just, oh, I would play for like two or three hours and then uh, I call it a day. Then I started playing it till 12, then one, then two, then 5 a.m. You know, on days I didn't have school, obviously. And I realized something. I started to get weaker. I lost discipline. I started watching prawn religiously, not necessarily religiously, but I, it was hard for me to get on a consistent no fab streak. You know, I would put everyone's priorities above mine. I would play video games. I would stop taking care of myself and I would stop handling the business that I knew I had to handle. I was too scared. I still didn't pay attention. I paid attention when I started getting rejected. You know, before that I wasn't I was getting rejected by girls, you know, I was getting choosing signals and when I would approach a girl, yeah, it would work. I started getting rejected by women. It wasn't like, oh yeah, I was getting rejected, then yeah, I would talk to this girl. No, it was back to back to back to back to, bro. <laughs> I, listen, I don't know how I made it out that phase, but it was like, and I was playing a numbers game. I was literally in my head like, oh no, it's a numbers game, you know. Uh, the next girl will say yes. The, guess newsflash, they said no. They said no. I, I was like, yo, what am I doing wrong? Like, what is, what is and it was simple. I wasn't taking care of myself. I was up till 5 a.m. playing video games. You know, my skin looked decayed. You know, I, <laughs> you know, I wasn't at my prime. My prime would have been me on no fap, you know, me with my skin glowing, me taking care of myself, me in decent shape. And I didn't realize that till a couple months ago, you know, like probably two, two months ago. No, not even two months, like four months ago. It's a competition. These past four months, I've been isolated, dog. Like I'm in a, I, I'm in monk mode. <laughs> like I, I'm living like a monk in a monastery. I'm living like a Shaolin monk. I let go of everything. I let go of everything. I let go of toxic friends. I let go of video games. I let go of people who didn't have to do with anything with my purpose, 
who didn't help me with any shape or way with my purpose, who didn't align with my purpose, who were just nothing like me. And I know I made a video about the five friends thing, but when you're really trying to get somewhere, you can't have distractions. You can't have distractions. I let go of everything I watch. I don't even watch anime anymore. Something I used to watch religiously. You know, I don't watch any of that. I literally wake up and I just, everything is self-improvement. I swear to God. I've never been so focused on self-improvement these past four or yeah, these past four months. I wake up, eat, sleep, self-improvement. I watch self-improvement. I record self-improvement. I edit self-improvement. I journal self-improvement. Everything is self-improvement. Every day I'm getting better. Now let's talk about my competition. What's my competition doing? Nothing. Maybe my competition is working out once every week, once every other week. But I've surpassed my competition. I know that. Now I'm on to the next. The people above me that, that I'm competing with, oh, they're working way harder. And always, there's always this, this thought behind my mind. You know, every time I think I'm working hard enough, like right now, you can always work harder. And I know I just went into a tangent, but that's what you need to understand. You have 24 hours in a day. You have 24 hours in a day. You have no right to complain about where you're at. You have no right to complain about life. Oh, oh, what, what is that? You have 24 hours in a day. And if you choose to spend that day eating junk food, watching TikToks, watching prawn, or hang out with people you know you shouldn't be hanging out with, or even better, playing video games, then you deserve everything you get. It's the 80-20 rule. You put 80%, what was it? 80 per, you get you put 80% into something and you get 20% back. Law of attraction is real. You get what you give. You get what you give. If you put a hundred percent into something, it is the law of nature, the law of life, the law of attraction that you will get something back. It may not be today and it may not be tomorrow and it may not be the year next year, the year after that, the year after that. It may not be seven years. It may not be 10, but you will get something back. You have competition. Understand that. Women will not take you for who you are <laughs> unless you're a Chad or <laughs> unless you're a Chad. You have to self-improve. And, and when I say, oh yeah, women won't take you for who you are, it's because this, women inherently have more options than men. A woman could go outside and get, you know, guys coming up to them saying they're beautiful. That That's just, that's just them. They have more options than you, which means what? You have more competition. I, you know, I used to blame women for that. Why do they choose the best guys? They choose the best guys because that's how they're built. That's how they're wired. If I'm getting 300 options, you know, and this is like for an above average, let's say I'm getting crazy options every day. I'm going to choose the best guy. I'm going to choose the best guy. Question is, are you the best guy? Are you working to be the best guy? Because women date up. They don't date down. They date up. <laughs> I want you to know they date up. And forget about all that woman stuff for, for real but it's it, it's in the sense of when i made that video game video a couple weeks after that i played video games i wanted to see if i'm nostalgic maybe it's because i've been tired maybe it's because i've been playing video games for so long i took like about like a, a month break maybe i don't remember the specific you know day or the the specific date but i came back to video games and i played it and i hated it i hate playing video games now i can't spend more than two hours playing video games Two hours if I'm lucky. I'm so, so an hour. The idea that I'm not working on something, the idea that I'm not stressing myself out with YouTube, or the idea that I'm too comfortable. Understand that you're when you play video games, you're designing yourself to be comfortable. I took a month break off of playing video games, and I've been uncomfortable every single day of that month. I come back to the video games. I hate it. I hate it. It's holding you guys back. I feel more freer than ever. I don't consume media. I don't even know what's happening on the news. Not in terms of news, but mainstream media. I don't know what happened. I don't know what's going on. Everything that I used to love, you know, anime or cartoons or, you know, TV shows. The last TV show I watched was Breaking Bad. You know what I'm saying? And I, I watch that if, if I'm lucky. Usually I'm going to sleep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm living a monk mode life. That's what you guys need to understand. You guys could get so far in a month if you stop playing video games. Stop with instant gratification. Stop with this bull crap that society is forcing upon you. 
you're the ruler of your reality there's no such thing as time spent having fun is time not wasted that is full of bull time is finite you guys are wasting that man wasting that a lot of you guys look up to andrew tate oh my god i want to be like andrew tate Yo, top g top g top g you think andrew tate got to where he's at because he was playing video games do you think andrew tate was playing video games do you think the greatest people of their craft the jordans the 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 brady's the 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 kobe's or the lebron you think they played video games why do you think they're the best or, or why do you think they're considered the greatest of their sports or whatever they do because they spend their time on it every single day and that's what you gotta understand oh i know a lot of people are gonna say just have fun you need to have fun bull crap as a man some of y'all some of y'all don't deserve to have fun some of y'all don't deserve to have fun some of y'all don't deserve to have fun some of you guys are overweight some of you guys are are, are are playing video games every day you know sapping your mind mouth breathing you don't deserve that some of you guys don't deserve to have fun a man sh doesn't have the right to have fun you need to work you need to work every day and that's that's again like i said it's a fire within a man's heart or body that drives them to do things you need to compete and don't say oh yeah i'm competing in call of duty i'm competing in this I'm comp okay cool but when you take off the headset when you put down the the controller and you open the door and walk out of life who are you then you're an average guy <laughs> you're, unless you're a chad you're an average guy and even if you're above average you still have competition you're not the best guy she's talking to you don't understand that I'm, I understand now, if I continue the way I'm going now, no distractions, no toxic friends, no video games, continue where I'm at right now. In two years, I will be a different man. No, not even two years. In one year, I'll be a different man. I will be a completely different guy than I was four months ago. That's a promise. And I put that on everything I love. The 80 20 rule is real. The law of attraction is real. What you put out is what you get back. But I can only do so much. Go ahead, turn on the, the PlayStation, turn on the Xbox, turn on the PC. Open it up. Let your brain get zapped in. And then when you take it off, when you're done with your 10 hour session, and you get off your chair, and you open your door, and you look in the mirror. Who are you then? Who are you then? You may be a god in video games, like I was obviously, you know, I was pretty decent. But when you open that door and you look in the mirror, who are you in real life? Exactly. There it goes. You get what you put in. Mwah.